RCC, Pastor Nathan here, and I want you to know that every day at 2 o'clock, we're going to come to you. It's called RCC to you. It's a way for us to stay committed and connected during the season to God and to one another. So we're going to bring to you resources. We're going to let you know about what's going on in the community, but also we're going to give you some spiritual inspiration, biblical spiritual inspiration every single day at 2 o'clock. Let me tell you about what's happening in our services. We are shifting from our services here at this campus to online. And so you go to riverchristian.church slash online to view our services every Sunday at 9 o'clock and 1030. So don't forget to go to riverchristian.church slash online. And this is a uh, challenge for you, and that is we want you to have what we call a home campus. Once you open up a home campus at your home, meet together as a family, have church together every Sunday either at 9 o'clock or 1030. You can invite, think about neighbors that maybe are alone. They don't have um, uh, anybody else in their life that would probably invite them in to do church with them. And maybe you'll be mindful of that. But we also are challenging you to make sure you stay underneath 10 people or 10 or less people. That's the challenge from the CDC. We want to be mindful of that. But what an opportunity for us to have house campuses. We're also going to let you know about resources. So if you want to have communion with us every single Sunday, make sure you have bread and get that grape juice. And we're going to have a communion thought uh, uh, prepared for you every single Sunday. It'll be obvious for you right down that site, riverchristian.church slash online. And you can see resources that we'll have every single Sunday for communion. What an opportunity to have communion together as a family in your own home. And I also want to challenge you, if you are a loyal uh, a giver, we want to we want to thank you so much for your generosity. All you have to do, once again, is set up online riverchristian.church slash give. That's riverchristian.church slash give, and make sure you're giving online. If you have not been giving, want to encourage you to start right now. We need every dollar because there's going to be needs in our community, and we want this season to be the most generous season ever at RCC. And that's just kind of how we are at RCC. Anytime there's a challenge, we go above and beyond because that is how the Spirit of God works through you. And so once again, make sure um, that you're giving during this season so we can continue to be a blessing here at RCC. I also want to let you know about some other resources, and that is our RCC Kids Ministry and our RCC Student Ministry have their own Facebook. And so if you're a parent of a, a child or a teen, now is an opportunity to make sure you're plugged into those groups so you can stay connected with the latest resources, the latest uh, 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 instructions and news, and also spiritual guidance to our kids and to our, our teenagers. So it's a great way to stay connected. What's going on in those ministries from our directors and our pastors that are leading those ministries right now. I also want to let you know that uh, uh, it's a challenge because they're chal telling us to stay socially distant from one another and we want you to abide by that but also don't allow that to lead you to spiritual isolation and so that's why we are coming to you RCC and we want to inspire you and keep you connected during this season don't allow this to move you into isolation but actually to propel you closer to God and to one another and that's why we at RCC are going to be thinking and using uh, innovative ways to stay connected to you during this time I want to challenge you with a, a scripture from Joshua 1.9, and it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be discouraged. The Lord your God goes with you wherever you go. And that's always so, uh, means so much to me because I know that nothing is shocking to God. God knew about this virus before we did. He knew we'd be in this situation long before we did. He is already present, and He's already in the future. So we have nothing to fear. We have a God who, who loves us, who adores us, who has your best interest in mind. And so because of that, uh, we want to challenge you with that scripture. Be strong and be courageous. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go. And that scripture is actually written below my feet wherever I, I preached it the last couple years, whether it be a dance studio, I wrote the, that scripture underneath the pulpit. Actually, that scripture is written right here underneath the the, the, the platform here at 5900, many years ago, Dennis Bratton wrote that same scripture right here. And it means so much to me that knowing that God has a plan for us, he is, he is going to take care of us, and he's going to use us to allow his glory to shine through us. Just to give you an example of this, when RCC had the sprinkler, sprinkler bust at 515 College Drive, 
one of our pastors was there and he was asked by someone uh, to say, you know, hey, how is God going to use this? What, what are we going to do? And he just smiled and said, hey, that's just how uh, things work here at RCC. This is just a new chapter. We're going to be okay. And three days later, we had even a better place to meet than we had uh, the previous Sunday at 515 College Drive. God has shown up again and again and again. And so we at RCC kind of look at things a little different. We look at the future with hope. We look at the future with an opportunity to, to, to share God's love with those in need. We look at the future as, a, as an opportunity to share Jesus Christ with everyone that we meet in whatever situation God calls us in. And God has us here for such a time as this. So I hope that you'll move forward with confidence and that confidence will exude throughout your family and throughout the rest of the community. And may we be there for one another. So once again, RCC, every day at two o'clock, we are coming to you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we start actually our 30 day prayer challenge tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to sharing that with you at two o'clock tomorrow. Have a blessed day, RCC.